Hey, so, hey uh, Mr. Flurry over there. You ready? I sure hope you're uh, streaming, including the party chat. Okay, you're right there. Um, new story. We're going to start this from the beginning. <clears throat> Man of Madon, Little Hope, House of Ashes, and Devil and Me. I don't know shit about you. All right. Who are you starting as? Is it asking you who to start as? Alright, well it's asking me who I'm going to start as. I think I'll start as the girl. I think I started as the guy the last time. I was you, I'd just buy all of them because they're all good. I'd also get Until Dawn because that was like the one that started the idea for all these. Can you imagine it? I'm attempting to. I bet you can see for a hundred miles at the top. We should make that our first priority. 
Whatever pleases you the most. You please me the most. You mean you are not weary of me after an entire day of marriage? I will never be weary of you. I shall hold you to that, my dear. <laughs> Why on earth did I start as her? I think we've arrived. Well, if I wouldn't have started as her, you would have had to. Isn't this grand? As advertised. Very nice. Let's check in. Are we the only ones here? I'm sure there was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. Try again. Well, this does not bode well for the level of service we're in store for. Oh, shit. Everyone must be busy elsewhere. That's no way to run a business. Slow service. That means they're making sure everything is perfect. That's my Marie. Always finding that silver lining. My sincere apologies oh. for both startling you and for making you wait. My attention was needed elsewhere. I promise from here on out it will be nothing but silver linings. Oh, crap. Welcome to the World's no. Fair Hotel. Please. Sign in here. First time in Chicago? No, hang on. All right, go ahead and ready up. I had to pause it because my stupid input got changed. I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. The fair, yes, but that's not all. Today is a very special day for us. Oh, a honeymoon. How very, very lovely. Yes, today is the beginning of our honeymoon. Congratulations. In that case, an upgrade is in order. A honeymoon suite it is. Oh, well, uh, are the rates that much higher? <laughs> I think nothing of it. The same rates as your regular room. The upgrade is on us. You're our first honeymooners. How kind. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Henry Howard Holmes. You have Triple a H. Hotel, Mr. Holmes. Oh, thank you very much. I designed and built most of it myself. You're an architect then? Architect, designer, builder, doctor, Psycho. artist. I'm a man of many interests. Impressive. Please have a look around. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. You know, they speculate that H.H. Holmes was actually Jack the Ripper, too. In order. Just make a note if you decide to purchase anything, and we will add it to your bill. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. We appreciate it. The pleasure is all mine.
Now, what did I forget to bring? Pardon me, miss. Careful, you. My husband gets awfully cross with men who act fresh. Hmm. <laughs> he sounds like a ripe fellow. How's the marriage going? Lovely. Thanks for asking. Well, let's just head up. I'm sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? Wouldn't you like to know? Wonder what's in here. I'm starting to think I've gone and married a thrill seeker. Ferris wheels, forbidden rooms. Are we looking for excitement? Perhaps. <sighs> Perhaps. Nothing but an unfinished room. See what happens when you chase a thrill? If this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel. I know you won't be denied. Wait, what's that? <gasps> Don't move. Are we lost? A wrong turn, it would seem. This room is being renovated. It's not safe. Of course. We... You must have missed the sign saying private. Must have. We're very sorry. I can't have you falling through floors and having your brains dashed out, can I? No. Again, we apologize. Think nothing of it. I'm only thinking of your safety. Wouldn't want you to get hurt. <laughs> Welcome, newlyweds, to the honeymoon suite. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. Do enjoy your stay. If you'll excuse me, I have work to return to. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. <laughs> Goodness, this place is fit for a king. Or my queen. Oh, you. Kiss this. That is not very wifely of you. Hey! Ah! Bullseye! You asked for it. <laughs> Should I be frightened? If you're smart. I have something for you. An actual gift. <laughs> Clear.
close your eyes and face the mirror. Aren't you clever enough? To the face, I will sock you right in the kisser. <laughs> Is there a problem? No. Open your eyes. Oh, Jeff, it's lovely. I love it. Good. Victory is mine. I'll let you have that bath now. jammed shut maybe if we put a little weight into it <laughs> open sesame <laughs> thank you why don't you have a shave while I take a quick bath then we can reconvene I know that word it's French for something illicit <laughs> shush shave I think I forgot to pack my razor and kit. I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. Don't you worry. Is that you, darling? Jeff? Oh, are we playing another game? <laughs> okay, Mr. Sneaky. You can't sneak up on me, Mr. <gasps> Holmes! Hello, my what are dear. you doing in here? Jeff! I don't think he can quite hear you. Ah! Ah! Get away from me! Please! I'm not finished. I'm I said get... Don't fight it. We'll only hurt more if you do. Sir, I've seen your wife has had an accident. Is there a problem, sir?
place for everything, everything in its place. Well, look at this. Oh, it's wonderful. Only the best for you, my dear. Mother would simply die. It's so I say, opulent. Uh, good man, do you work here? Hello. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Son of a bitch. Oh, you're here. Have you been waiting long? Welcome back. I do enjoy seeing a familiar face. Last time, no one survived. I wonder if you were even trying. It's so good to have company. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here, watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create them, and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions. Delight, inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread. The way you react, the decisions you make, will affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices. And sometimes, it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. Repercussions that you will all experience. I can't interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obbles. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. 
I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it worth your while. Well, shall we start? Game is afoot. I will be watching. My name is Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on Uh, and, uh, and yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I... Hey, I'm Mark. I study photography at UCLA. Um, had a great time. Really want to get back to some serious photography. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a job. I've been a key group in lighting test for years. See a problem? Light it. You don't often meet someone like that. Man, how do you even start? I'm sick of being on my own. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or, um, like personal info? Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonitz, UK originally. I've uh, been here for 20 years. The last series was so on track, it was, uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and, um, didn't quite uh, uh, hit the mark as I was hoping it would. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. I think we've heard quite enough. Enough? <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, Your Honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else. And cover the ground with more cement. Cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, a.k.a. Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders, but his investigators sifted through the traces he left behind following his path from city to city, the number grew significantly. Nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer, and possibly the worst. He was buried, as requested, under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? So, what do you think? To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold that thought. <coughs> Lonnie Entertainment. Charles Lonnie, please. Speaking. Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m. Be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. 
Without them, this conversation is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes. Of course. We're in. I'll get from there. I promise. Let's do it. Mr. Dumet send you. We... Right. Let's load up, guys. All right, got it. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Are you? Are you? I mean, this is that ring light that makes the one glowy. We leave you behind. Yeah, you're right. This is going to be grand, people. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. Anyone? Rope. Rope. Hello. Hooray. This is going to be great, guys. Do we know where we're going exactly? You don't like surprises? You know what this just reminds me of? I'd say. Topeka? Exactly. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That was not our fault. It was 100% your fault. Because you fly by the seat of your ass. So? Come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with H.H. H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from the United States. That's what I can do in session with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the shelf, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this? Just trust me. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that may share information that can affect my business or lifestyle. There are rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do. Fine. For the show. I'm telling you, this is going to be great. You said that in Topeka. 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 Dude, is so rich, shouldn't he have service or something? This guy gonna help? No, really, I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it, jackass. Okay. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There. Yeah. Come on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly um, up there. The, the visuals will be great. Right? We can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. We'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on.
This is taking too long. Jesus, that is loud. It's meant to be heard from miles away. Well, yeah, I know that in theory, but... It doesn't look too serious. Move away from that sign. Oh, so much for plan A. We must be able to work our way around. Come on. Anything for a shock, right? Yeah, he's probably still watching my stream. Listen, Mark, I just wanted to say, um... Thanks for backing me up, man. What? About getting this footage? No, for the whole trip. You know some of the crew can be challenged. So what? Jamie and Kate would never have agreed to come if you hadn't been. I figured that the episode was such a mess, we needed all the help we could get. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, wait. What's over here? We gotta find those coin thingies. Okay. okay, I won't lie. I was hoping okay. being here, all remote and away from the world, that maybe I'd have some downtime, some space to decompress. Downtime? Why would you want to do that? You know, relax a bit. I've never seen the attraction. That's a lot of lives lost. Shoot some footage from the top of the lighthouse, explore the cliffs to find an alternate route. Ah. <sighs> 
Let's not go through the obvious hole in the wall. Hey, when we wrap, I'd like to take a couple weeks off. Go see my family. I need you in post. I really appreciate that concerning eye of yours, you know. I got a lot going on. Where in the hell are you going? Oh. Right, yeah, of course. Sure. No, not you, Look my character. Get your head together. I appreciate it. I'll be fine. I walked over there to go across that wall. You should do the same. Take some time. And he turned around and he just took off the other way. Well. No, Mrs. Bonnet, you got hiding in some closet somewhere? Married to the job. Married to the job. You go. Well, from what I hear about real marriages, pretty damn good. Married to the job. You can turn your lighter off. <laughs> Look at my stream. Jesus. Oh shit. What well, the hell is that thing? <laughs> no, I, I'll admit that one made me jump. I wasn't expecting him. I haven't played these in a while. <clears throat> I beat them all. <clears throat> Played majority of them with Shua. And then I think House of Ashes I had to do by myself. He wasn't you coming? available. Yeah. Just looking at the light on the mess. How is that going to fit into the show? It just caught my eye. Coming. That oh, boat is glitched. I can't exactly turn it off. There's a lot of crossover between the creative stuff and the commercial stuff. Mm. God damn it. You sure about that? Because crossover with there is a boat glitched in the air. Just making sure your head's in the game. Gates locked, I do remember that. I think I remember that anyway. End of the road. There might be a way around. Let's hope so. <clears throat> No, don't go over there yet. Well, I guess you can do whatever you want. I just don't want to get sucked into a cutscene. What's up? Welcome into here.
How's you doing? <laughs> this thing hasn't been manned in ages. And why's the horn still going? Because they didn't decommission the phone. Yeah, I was falling asleep earlier, so I had to get my second wind. Glad the week's over. Keep it up, team. This should be the final week. Last night's foghorn test was successful. Looks like the Ottoman. Hey, there's a radio. Let's jam. <clears throat> Went to a concert last night. Oh, didn't want to do that. Really? There's got to be a way to unlock that stinking door. Who is TS? TS is not on there. That's just supervisor. See you go out the window. Exciting times. <laughs> Guess that counted as big news a century ago. Shimmy, shimmy, go dippy. <clears throat> Remember, we gotta be on the lookout for those little coin things that they were talking about. Probably won't find them, but whatever, I guess. Not my ass. You gotta wait till I'm out of there. Yes. What have you been up to, Wasp? Nerdlet. <clears throat> Get out of that toolbox.
You jackass. Look, sorry I give you a hard time. Now again, yeah, you got it. I didn't. I really couldn't make these shows without you. That's not true. I may be driving this car. What car? The Lonnet Entertainment car. But you're the one who keeps the engine going. It's not how cars work. Jesus, you try it only to gives you credit on. for them. Thanks, Charlie. I get it. I get it. In my pants, but you ain't getting it. <laughs> you better watch it, boy. I want out. Just kidding. Of course not, because the original door would just be too easy. <laughs> I know, because I was over there. What in the hell are you doing? Oh, you gotta go. And go through the window, dummy. Oh, shit. <clears throat> Look at that shit. I opened the door for your punk ass. Oh, get your ass down, fool. Nice to meet you, too. Just a bobcat. <laughs> Not yet. Oh, come on. The bobcat can go out the window, but we can't. What, what if we got to run from the ghost? God damn, I got through the doorway. That way, maybe. Premonition. Those show you potential death scenes. Just need some fresh sheets, some nice drapes, and six gallons of sanitizer. Charlie, I'm getting an uneasy feeling about this. Somebody has your taxidermy. <laughs> <Damn you. laughs> it moved. What? The thing. It moved. You're going to see plenty of a crow.
It's gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay. <sighs> Look at this. It's perfect. Come on, get shooting. I want you to pan across the lake until the island comes into shot. Then zoom into that lighthouse. Look, it's all right. Come on, we better get back. You were supposed to take a picture, you dumbass. I don't know. We just had the one call. How, how did he know what our show was about in the first place? Uh, actually, I didn't ask. That's weird. Let's just play nice, okay? Hello, Mr. Lonnet. That's me. I'm Grantham Dumet. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. This is Mark. Mark. Erin. Jamie. Ladies. And this is Kate. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. I'm looking forward to seeing all it is you have to offer. We truly appreciate this. Lovely to meet you all. What say we get underway? Again, I really can't thank you enough for this opportunity. <clears throat> Gave Marie the necklace he purchased from the jewelry counter. Marie chose to investigate the noise. Of course. Was it your great uncle you said that? Um... Let's get to where we're going. I'll explain everything later. Sure. Of course. Of course. Let's get up to the hotel. Please, let's stay close. Stick together. Is it dangerous here? No, of course not. You sure? Because you don't seem sure. It's perfectly safe. But we are a long ways from help if somebody gets hurt. So please, take care. Looks like things are buttoned up tight around here. God. This way. Don't worry about your bags. I'll make sure they're brought. Deep breaths, Charles. Try not to cough up a diseased lung. I'll be fine. Just pretend there's a carton of smokes at the top of the hill. 
You're right. He takes his security very seriously. I wonder what he's afraid will get in. Maybe you should be asking what he's trying not to let out. Jamie. Just saying. You watch too many horror movies. He values his privacy. We've known that right from the start. We've known that for about two hours. Just go. Mark, get your camera. I want to grab a quick intro from here. I need some shots leading up to the house. Don't need the whole journey. Kate, talking to camera, then I'll direct you from there, okay? No photos. No recording of me at all. Is that clear? I'm a very private person. Don't worry, Mr. Dumet. Discretion is Lonnie Entertainment's motto. You want the usual intro stuff, Charlie? Please. The light is good. I'm ready to go, Aaron. It sounds clear. Okay, let's go for a technique. Is Kate's face ready? Bitch, I'm always camera ready. Stop trying to make me like you. Rolling. Speed. And action. I've just arrived on the private island which claims to have genuine artifacts from H.H. H. Holmes' reign of terror. I'm heading to the house right now. Perfect, Kate. Now turn to face the house. And start to walk. Okay, that's enough. And cut. We really do need to get going. Anything you say, Mr. Dumas? This way. You'll steal some more shots, right? Oh, this. Georgie. Mr. Dumet is being really restrictive. I noticed. I want you to get a look around without him knowing. The man is entitled to his privacy. It's cagey. I want to know what he's trying to hide. What do you want to do? What you did that time with those cops on Glendale. Seriously? Okay. Oh. Did you have your ego again? We should get her up to the hotel. Oh, I can barely move it. Jamie, stay with her. Why me? Because you know first aid. Remember how you patched her up? In Glendale? Oh, right. Okay. We'll find some ice and a bandage and come back. You have that at the hotel? Yes, sure. Then let's go. What is going on? Come on, come on. I'll clue you in later. Been taking acting classes again? Yeah, yeah. What's Charlie want? Better lay of the land. And we're the scouts because? I'm charming, and you can hotwire your way past security. Come on. you something and get a straight answer you know you know you're making a smart ass reply or taking a shot at me that works both ways fine oh, tell me the truth is there any saving this show maybe there's some sort of magical holy grail of footage or information to be had here you think that's likely no at best we'll get some nice b-roll that's not gonna save our asses of a scramble. Watch your head. Uh, 
You could have told us to dress for a trek. Try not to Try not fall and fall die. die. I don't want to see Mark cry. Thanks for the concern. Really. No point just standing around. Wonder where this goes. And straight up and down the hill. Yeah. But what's on the other end? Oh, fucking God, shut up. go back over here there's nothing here okie dokie Looking at over here, stupid. you live out here on this island? Shh. Get down with your family? My wife was... She died. Oh, shit. Sorry, I didn't mean to be rude. Come on, we're about there. They didn't see us. Let's go. This is ridiculous. There's nothing out here.
Maybe this is the way. Need to keep looking. If I wanted to go on nature hikes, I wouldn't have moved to the city. This shit is not in my job description. This reminds me of shit summer camps. Okay. okay, if I can get the car moving and stop it here, we'll be able to get across. You see the control panel? It's trapped. I don't even think there's power. You think you can get this thing working? Damn it. <laughs> Looks 
through here. Hear that? It's Georgie. A little heel over there. Over there by the fence. There must be something around here. So much better. I guess I just needed to rest it for a minute. I think I'm okay. You found a shortcut up the hill. I really need you to stay where I say. You got it, Mr. Dumet. We're all here now. Let's head on. Everyone stay under the watchful eye of Mr. Dumet, please. Kate. What do you think? A summer camp from hell. Whatever. We're gonna find out what's up his sleep before too long. Don't worry about that. Coming or what? Uh huh. You afraid of heights? Maybe. Yes. You can do it. Eyes forward. Don't look down. I got it. It's fine. Is it though? I shouldn't have looked. It's just water down there. You can swim. Oh, what you Besides, the bridge looks dependable. Ish. Come on. I'll help. Well, where's mine? That's it. I want look, something through my email fine. like now. Don't look down. Oh, I definitely yeah. want some now. <laughs> See? Not so bad. Heck yeah. Thank you. You always I'll send you Venmo. Shit, 
PayPal. Like, we should yeah. catch up to Mr. Dumet. Where is everyone? Apologies, uh, they're all city folk. Come on, let's go. We're losing the day, people. <laughs> Good, we are in on a an accord. This wow, wow. Mr. Dumet, this place is magnificent. Yeah. Maybe this won't be a waste of a weekend. <clears throat> Not creepy at all. Nothing creepy about this place at all. Keep out. You got people, ghosts in the window. You got Georgie walking around. What are you doing? I, I saw a little girl up there. As Wasp would say. Probably Demet's daughter. Maybe she recognized you from TV and she's running down Summer here for camp from hell. Maybe. Everything in here is fragile. Please be careful. Signing in at the desk, please. Uh, this isn't everything. I'm sure the rest is almost here. I'll, I'll make sure it gets to your rooms. Kate's makeup case is slowing it down. Erin, cigarettes. Blue backpack. Settle in, and I'll meet you all at dinner. At eight. Mr. Dumet, I cannot say thank you enough times. This is truly fantastic. I told you this was a good plan, didn't I? <laughs> I told you. Mrs. Wasp. Oh, there you are. Busy, busy, busy. This is some Norman Bates shit. Thing. Sorry. <clears throat> oh my god. I think I peed a little. How did you not hear me coming? I was. I don't think we're the only ones here. Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw. A little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, his staff, maybe friends. Who knows? That said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um, it's unique. Are you singing? Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't be scared song. 
sing it and I won't be scared long. Doesn't really work. I bet. 181. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. 183? This is me. Okay. Okay. Good luck out there. Don't get lost. Scream if you need me for anything. Thanks. I got you. Nothing to be scared of. Actually, hey. Yeah? Why don't you hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room? Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes. Thanks. I'd end up lost, probably. It's just a haul, dude. Oh, what the hell are you doing, fool? What is... God damn it. And here we are. Wow. It's, um, cozy? Cozy is fun. If we have to double up like last time, we've married by morning. You talk in your sleep. Not sure I ever told you that. Sure. What did I say? Actually, it was just a bunch of incoherent swearing. Oh, I was awake. I was reading Kate's social media posts. Ugh, that bitch. Okay, don't hate me, but she's been kind of nice to me. I mean, I think she's more upset about Mark than she lets on. Lies. She's a robot. Uh, where's the bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Oh, uh, gross school. What if I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Shows what you know. What is that? Wine, genius. I mean, why is a dusty old bottle of wine in the dresser? Mm, you want wine to be old. Yeah, off a rack, in a controlled environment, not this. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't, I don't, cute? You think I'm cute? Hmm? Oh.
God, it's sticking my own if you want to share a lip cuties. Thanks. What the f What are you doing over there? <laughs> Where'd it go? Uh, it's uh, all the way against the wall. See it? <coughs> you okay? <coughs> Shit. You trying to scare me now? No. Revenge? Because. Good job. <laughs> you sure you're okay? Because, yeah, maybe me scaring you didn't help, did it? No. no, but seriously, seriously. it's not, it's your, not fault. your fault. I just, I, I try to pretend like it isn't a thing, you know? Like, I don't want to be depending on an inhaler. I try to mind over matter it. Dust and allergies and I just need to be more careful. You sure? Sure, sure. I'm sure. So, uh, yeah, cozy. <laughs> you gonna try that? And now you're poisoned. It's not that bad. You're not lying? It's pico. Decent vintage. Sure. I'm getting oaky undertones, a hint of citrus. A strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat dots. <laughs> oh my god. I hate you. You are such a liar. <laughs> oh, sorry. The blind is trash. I totally lied about that. Really? Uh huh. Sorry. What I said earlier. I didn't mean to make you feel weird. What? No, I'm fine. I'm I'm totally not the scared lost lamb Charlie makes me out to be. Oh, I know. That's why I'm super coming on to you. Oh, God, no. So basically, you'd rather drink this shit then acknowledge all the signs I'm throwing at you. What are you doing? Uh, oh my god, I, uh... I... <laughs> oh, you bitch! I'm just fucking with you. I wanted to kiss you for months. I just was scared to make a real move. <laughs> I got the trophy. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Who is that? I think I tried to get that trophy the first time I played through, but I guess the wrong shit. Enjoying yourself out here like some sort of pervert? Sorry, did I uh, interrupt something here? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the uh -huh, very and funny walls. Yeah, 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 yeah. If this place is running on a generator, we need to know what it's putting out. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't what find my room, and I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you. I've just been down there. Look, give me ten, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. 
Can't we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You've got ten minutes. Okay. We'll be down in a few then. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. You gotta make the That's dog get off the them. island alive. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. Charlie's gotta survive the furnace. <laughs> To be continued, then? Yes, yeah. definitely. Good luck finding your rooms. To the game show, Wasp. What's up, Scaremouche? Awesome. Welcome. Great to have you here. Hope you enjoyed the game. It's kind of strange and different. I still got it in my collection. I need to get back into it. I've been playing Tiny, Tiny Tina's well, Wonderlands. Oh, oh. Kate wanted zombies. you to have this. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety. Are you fucking kidding me? I think she thought it might help with your stress. Or... Absolutely not. I'm not stressed, okay? Do I look fucking stressed? <clears throat> Uh, yeah, I was playing it a while talk. back. Well, your cards came out nice. In about a oh, month yeah. or so, I got back into Call of Duty Makes Zombies and then Tiny Tina's you Wonderlands. You old guys love business cards. Old school. You old school guys. I also put it on heavy stock and did the logo in foil. Damn. I should have had one ready for Mr. Dumet. Did you find them? I... no. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <sighs> Jesus. Be methodical. Check her other bag. Look, stop tearing around in there like a maniac. Be organized about it. Death coming. Blue bag, front pocket. I made a specific mental note of it. Gotta change controllers. Hold up. They're gone, Charlie. Gone? Just like that? Are you saying somebody I, took them? I, I don't... Actually, I can see Kate doing that. Or Jamie. I'm sorry. <sighs> Details. It's fine. Let's just get on with things. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient. You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically, it's not legal to smoke in bars, so... Come on, we're checkled. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. Find the bar. Oh, great. Now I'm this guy. It's my spare cat. Exactly the same? Well, it suits me. What's weird about that? Take it easy, it was nice having you. Come on, get out of there. Thank you. Breakfast time.
play a game and read a book at the same time with all these pickups. So I gotta remember how to do this. That's Kate, or that's what's her name, Aaron's room. The scope of this place is—I can't believe we've looked into this. Where are you at? Are you that will make our other episodes look cheap. They are cheap. Can't be helped. This will be the one that people remember. The one that wins an Emmy. Exactly. That's the spirit. Stick with me, Erin. I'm going places. You think we'll get another season? Let me worry about that. You stick to making sure that my life runs smoothly and I'll make sure you keep working. Sound good? Uh, Where are you at? Downstairs? Said you found a secret, but I must not be able to find it because I'm Charlie. No, I'm upstairs. I'm with Aaron. That's the name. Ooh, noble. You've got to be worth something. <clears throat> hey, Come on, stop fucking walking, Aaron. Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? Why don't I've you stop wandering aimlessly around this damn exactly place so I can explore? A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. And all of a sudden we're downstairs. What the f... No, not you. I'm talking... Because she opened the door downstairs, I'm down by the bar now. Oh, God. Beast of Arkansas behind bars. FBI confirms capture of notorious serial killer. It's a newspaper. That was Hello. the secret. Mr. Dumet? Hello? Hello. Oh god, is this another premonition? It's a oh shit. Yep. It's where I die. No, it's the premonition of where my character dies. One of us will be playing him. But there is a trophy for it. For him surviving, I didn't do it on my last playthrough. I can't remember how we gotta, what we gotta do to make him stay alive. But wow, an animatronic! That's what amazing, will be, Mr. Demet, sir. I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello. Hello. Packet of smokes. You're talking to a mannequin, dipshit. Too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Bomber. 
Certainly, sir. Whatever, Whatever you wish. <laughs> no fucking way. Thank you very much, my mechanical friend. Much appreciated. I'm not, I'm looking for secrets and premonitions and ovals and Okay, there's a door there, but I can't interact with it. Got some whiskey. Oh, I got the whiskey. What the hell? Yes! Yes! yes. Oh. Ah, fuck. Next round's on me. Promise. You had to use the credit card to open the cash register at the bar. Yes. Come daddy. Oi. 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 Life would be so much easier than that. In my jacket pocket. What? No. 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 Please. I'm having a really shit day. And you've just made it worse. Piece of shit, don't do this to me. <clears throat> Antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes. Right. That's it. I'm gonna go and get my key grip, and they are gonna kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah. I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? 
Who's that behind the bar? What? Well, I did not get the cigarettes. Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he needs anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw it. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? God dang it. Charlie does seem to think he owns us. He's so damn controlling. I don't let him control me. Why else do you think we fight so much? Did you know Aaron hasn't been paid in weeks? He told her that learning from him was his own reward. That piece of shit. He has her running around town, picking up his laundry, doing his shopping like he can't do anything for himself. Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana at Entertainment. Good for you. That's... That's definitely the right call for where your career is going. That sounded very sincere. Because it is. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. Kate! Mark! Dinner is on. Aren't you hungry? Yeah, on our way! Great! Did he hear us? Obviously not. Hey guys. hey guys. Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just pour him on. Let's all just relax. We just sat down, give the man a moment. He's the host. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Oh, Mr. Dumet! I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine, hope that's all right, Dumet? Yeah, that dude ain't coming. Wait, what, why? You saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't know. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Come. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. They're in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. It must be his kid, right? Didn't he say something about family? I don't remember. Either way, why did they leave? Does that mean we're the only ones here? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. This could work to our advantage. How? Well, think about it. We're still here, surrounded by perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. 
There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leap to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet. As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm sure I didn't decide with Jamie on this one. Thank you. No, uh, your voices. Why? He's not here. But that doesn't explain why he stitched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Oh, God, Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping. OK, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. The bitch of it is, I did find a machine, but just like everything else in this fucking place, it's ancient and broken. So what are you doing? Just gonna sit here and pretend to eat. What's the plan, Charlie? Maybe if we all just sit here quietly and wish really hard, the magical post-production pixies will just assemble a cut for us and send it to the network. Let's raise a glass to the post-production pixies and Charlie's brilliant plans. Now, I would like to toast all of you. Really? I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. And finally, to our newest recruit, Erin, we would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? Thank you all for your hard work. Cheers. Cheers. To us. Mazel tov. Daibosia. We can get here can take the show to the next level. Sure, if we have time to get it all. Yeah, he totally heard us. Nah, there's no way he'd say all that nice shit. Like a double us. quarter pounder with bacon. Maybe we should talk about it right this second. You brought it up. What was that, Kate? Nothing important, just spitballing some ideas. I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. Shouldn't be hard. Um, does anyone else think it's weird that Matt hasn't showed up yet? Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What do we want to do first, Charles? You're the boss. Thank you. I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things will begin in the murder castle. With what light's already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Dumet shows up? If he tells us to stop, I'm gonna be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. All right, everyone grab what they need, and we'll meet in the lobby. Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes. Perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. I love it. Shouldn't take me long at all. Great. Great. Great.
Damn it. Good going, genius. Breakers. No more locked doors. The doors make me nervous, eh? What the hell is that? Kate is getting creative with Charlie's script. What the hell? God damn it. What was that? Aaron? You guys hear that? It's Aaron. Down there. Oh, <laughs> 
Move, 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 Charlie. We're here, Aaron. Just try to stay calm. Count your breaths. One, two, three, in. One, two, three, out. We need to break through this thing. Go and look for something to knock this door down. Me and Mark will try and force it open. Oh, yeah, I get to go look for something else now and get caught into another cutscene. Come on! Hey. You're okay now. You're safe. What? Did you see him? Come on. Come on. <laughs> he... he was... There's another mannequin. Somebody was right there. In there with me. Aaron, it's just a dummy. No, it was not a dummy. He... he had a hat on, like H.H. H. Holmes. Charles, you're working her to death. Now she's hallucinating shit from the show? I did not... Nothing bad happened, Aaron. You're okay. No one is in there. Let's all just calm down. Get Erin back to her room for a rest. I'm not fucking tired. Let's go. Come on, Erin. The curator. Erin's shown signs of serious pluck, wouldn't you say? Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Charlie managed to rally the troops, though, and a good thing. The road ahead is full of challenges. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch. In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. Let's just all take a deep breath and not lose our minds. No, Charles. We're done. This has been weird every step of the way, and now it's getting scary. Oh, relax. I'm serious. Everything about this is off. Kills me to admit it, but Kate is right. Somebody tried to attack Aaron. We don't know that's what actually happened. I know what I saw. In the dark. You think I'm making this up? Everyone relax, okay? Just give me a second to think. Excuse you. Exit stage left, our oh-so-confident and sure leader. What was that? There you go, kick the wall, punch it next. Charlie is thinking. This looks a lot like a temper tantrum. Maybe he's right. If we don't cross this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just saying... I've been waiting on you for ages to actually make a decision about something. Anything. And now, this? Is when you suddenly choose to take a stand? 
Sorry, maybe I'm crazy, but if Aaron says somebody came for her, I believe her. We're not safe here. It was just a dummy. You think I'm lying? Really? I think maybe you're just confused about what you saw in the dark. I know what I saw. Right. Here's the plan. We've already got a plan. It's leaving. Just listen. We cannot jump to conclusions. I'm going to go yeah, and find leave, Dumet so and get, get the trophy for everybody Everything surviving, is going to be including the dog. And we're going to get the footage we need. He didn't show for dinner. What makes you think you can find him now? A positive attitude. You should try it sometime. Bravo, Charles. Your delusions make for such great plans. Demet left. I saw it, remember? Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. Would it kill you to think positively just once? I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not the worst he's ever had. It's not even the worst idea I've had this evening. Don't go patting yourself on the back. I still think your priorities are fucked. Whatever. I'm going. I'm coming with you. Wait. Do you have to go? I'll be right back. Promise. Just stay put so I know where to find you, okay? I don't care what he says. I'm done. I'm getting my shit together. Kate. I'm leaving, Mark. You coming or not? Aaron saw someone. Okay, you're right. Sorry. It's just Charlie said... We're not safe here. That outweighs having a damn job. You're right, you're right. Let's go, Aaron. Everything's gonna be okay. We're here. Can't you just stay here while I pack up my stuff? I don't want to waste any time. I'm right around the corner. Let's all be quick. We'll be right back. Promise. No, don't... Sorry, just... Still freaked out. Can you leave it open so you guys can hear me? Of course. Okay, genius. Where are we going to look first for Demet? I'm not looking for Demet. I'm scouting for shots. If he pops up along the way, great. Jesus. You really don't care about anything else? Alright. I'm going to the bathroom right quick. <laughs>
You had a bottle of brisk, all right. Do you? Of course I care. So that's a key. What the you know hell? As well as I do. If we're set up and a camera is rolling, she'll want to be in front of it. <sighs> Somebody shoot that guy in the mouth. Um, well, you probably were if you're going to stick your thinking lean in his mouth. Keep saying that. You keep sticking your foot in your mouth. Oh, God. Anyway. Charlie. God what damn it. Here? I, I no idea. Do not open those doors yet. I wonder if that groundskeeper would know where the map went. I just unlocked another premonition. Huh? 
Read the ledger. Hey, come over here. Hey. No, hey. get over Don't here. Do Matt's business card. Yeah, and you just stuck it in your jacket. Get over here, open this drawer with that credit card. You obviously can't walk through there. Where the hell? Read the ledger. And then turn the page. Make sure you turn the page, it'll give you a secret. You leave my script alone. That's our Bible. Of course you equate your notes to the Word of God. Jamie, Jamie, over here. Over here. Well, if okay. it puts you in the furnace yeah. room, you need I'm to the pause the game immediately so we can figure out how to keep him alive. Are you kidding me? You're jumping to conclusions. All we know is something was dragged along this way and it was bleeding. And that's not a cause for concern to you? All right, it's a little odd. Odd? What do you want me to say? Look, it's probably just Dumet or the groundskeeper dragging in some dead animal from outside. Maybe it's our dinner. Welcome, one and all, to tonight's entertainment. Oh, what the fuck? Presented by Grantham Dumet. Dumet? What? So he hasn't left. Why did you go that way?
not inspect that blood stain yet. Don't inspect the blood stain yet. Retreat or pull Charlie away. All right, since you're Charlie, if you choose the great, Charlie will live. Do not choose to try the door.
So if you step off the plate, the groundskeeper is immediately impaled. If you stay on the plate, the killer will slice his nose and he steps backwards reflexively, killing the groundskeeper anyway. Either way he dies. You want to see him impaled or you want to see him... <sighs> oh shit, I should have dies either way, but I think the only other outcome was, uh, or the only other thing was, uh, relationship change. What's happening? What did I do? I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Now. Charlie. Huh? Let's go. The mask? What the hell was that? That was the mask. Are you shitting me? We're trapped. Jesus. We're trapped. What do we do? Break the fucking door down. Right. On three. One, two, three. <laughs> Find your spirit crystal? Don't do that. And don't make fun of me. Sorry. Wouldn't want you to cut yourself. The rock is sharp as hell and yeah, super magical. It's an amethyst crystal. It helps keep you calm by blanketing you in protective energy. I know. I remember. If you know, then don't call it a rock. Maybe I just feel like you should take responsibility of your own emotions and stop outsourcing the job to a crystal. It makes me feel better. Something you never seem to be able to do. Okay, maybe that was a shitty thing to say. I'm sorry. It's fine. This isn't the time or place to... I have to tell you something. Okay. Earlier, you brought up that DP job I blew off. I never told you the truth about it. About what? It wasn't a job, not really. What are you talking about? Remember my friend Murray? He was setting up a studio in Brooklyn, Fine Arts. He wanted a partner. That's your dream. Yeah. There is exactly zero money to made, so I thought you tell me it was insane, rightfully. Because it would be. Wait, I mean, did you ever think maybe of chasing the dream first? And making it work practically second? Clearly not. I'm here, aren't I? Things are already starting to get tough for us. Oh, no, no, no. Don't put any of this on me. This is all you. I know. I turned it down because it would have taken me away from you. I guess I didn't even think of that. I... I just... I just uh, 
What do you want me to say? Guess I was holding out for things to change with us. Deep down, I'm still hoping. Mark, I have never once shied away from telling you where my priorities were. All right. I get it. We better go. Let's get back to Aaron and get the fuck out of here. Do you think they found you, man? Charles seems hell bent on talking to him, so maybe, yeah. Who's going around locking these doors? Good man. This uh, little helper in the yellow coat. Wait. What's that? Is this somebody's idea of a fucking joke? How is this here? Did you bring this? No. Is that her? Yeah. Shelby. Matching nails? God, don't. We always got them done the same. That's him. What? That's him. The guy in the back. Do you know him? Kinda did. He was just <coughs> one of those guys that was always around. Moved at some of the same parties, but that's it. It was my fault. You know that's not true. The night it happened, I was supposed to meet her. We were going to grab some drinks, go to a party. I slept through. It was a big deal on campus not to go out on your own. Shelby waited for me when I didn't show, and... That's when, that's when he got her. It's okay. It's not fucking okay. It can't be. I have to live with it every day and now someone knows. Someone wanted me to find this. What the hell is that? I have no idea. But I feel like it's bad. What the hell? Get over here, now. Charlie! <laughs> <laughs> I can't hold this. You have to get the fuck out any way you can. Just get the fuck out now! Jamie! Charlie! What the hell just happened? I, I don't know. But I think it's really... Maintenance corridors, crawl space, has to be. All right, since I'm him. Uh, What's going on? Remember, if you're Charlie, or yeah, if you're Charlie. What the hell is going on with him? No, I said, if you're Charlie, I chalked it up to him make sure that when we go into the furnace scene, do not choose the door. We gotta choose the grate twice. Let's think about this. You saw Dumet take off. So maybe he found out there was a killer and bugged out? Maybe. 
Or perhaps the man we met wasn't actually Demet. And the dude in the mask is? That contraption, that's a hell of a lot to set up. That was planned out, every bit of it. It was set up for us to find. Which makes it even more likely the dude on the ferry wasn't really Demet. Here's the door, but let's make sure there's nothing in here. I'm trying to map this in my head. But I think Ellen's room has been completely cut off. Jesus, Charlie. Why is he messing what with What the hell? She's the most easily frightened. The most That was just a wall. Don't you watch our show? That's what these sociopaths do. Mother fucker. What? what? Brick wall. Keep going. Just like Holmes. I know, I don't want to think about it. Over here. Find me yet?
It won't let me through there. What the hell? Did it let you go through the... Oh, you're right there. Jamie, Jamie, over here. Over here. Help, me Help me with this. <clears throat> You're looking at it. I had a friend message me, so I had to see what he needed. We're in a bloody nesting doll. What? A Russian nesting doll. You know? A doll in a doll in a doll. Are you losing your shit? Because I don't need that right now. We're locked in a kitchen, trapped in a hotel, stranded on an island. Even if we get out of this room... How do we get out of the hotel? Exactly. Or off the island. Maybe we just focus on one thing at a time. This room first. You're right. Of course. Natalie something I can't see. Heckroll or something like that. Meckroll. Natalie Mikkel. Mc yeah, something like that. Oh shit, that's a body. God damn it, I should have seen that. Pig parts. Heads. Jamie, another door. I think this one actually gets us out. What? Because it says we exit. Have to get this open. That's not what I was expecting. Ah, Jamie! Ah! All right. Remember, do not try the door. Try to pry the grate. Oh, you're Aaron.
I didn't flip that over. Damn it. Pick that up. Got that picture down here too. Fifteen seventy three. Fifteen seventy three. What's in this God damn it, where's the stupid code? on that. Three, seven, five, one. I'm about to Google this stupid code. Number from the invoice.
What are you doing? Dumbass. I didn't even fucking move. <sighs> fucking bullshit. Aaron. Aaron? No, it just randomly pulled me into this fucking room. Can you hear me? Shit. Where did it say to make me hide? Or make you hide? Hide in the cupboard. You have to listen to me. Do exactly as I say. No, you listen. I saw those texts. What? You and your friend, you made fun of me. You said I was... Aaron, stop. Fuck some old text. This is serious. Just listen, okay? Before something awful happens. Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Aaron? There's a cupboard in there. You have to get inside right now. What are you talking about? Just hide, Aaron. Why are you telling me this? What's happening? Aaron, now. Just trust me, okay? Hide. Told me on a letter, make you hide in the cupboard or he will kill you. He's coming after you now. He's in the doorway. Can I go back to my business now, you stupid damn man? Smarter figures. Charlie? Jamie? Jamie? Hello? Where the hell are they? Hopefully somewhere safe, wondering where the hell we are. Kate, check this out. What is going on? Are, are we locked in here? Looks like it, yeah. Wait. Shh. What? You hear that? Is that that? Where's it coming from? Somebody's in the restaurant. does this? I'm sick of being played with. This is beyond messed up. I don't know what Charlie's gotten us into, but if I see Dumet, I'm gonna fuck him up.
I did this, Mark. This is really freaking me out. Do it. Okay, this is fucked up. What the hell is going on? Jesus. It looks just like it. No way somebody just threw these together in the last couple of hours. Aaron. Oh my God. This is so fucked up. What is going on? Why would somebody go to all this trouble? Just to mess with us? You hear that? Footsteps. And they're getting closer. Watch out. God damn it. going on sorry i thought Jesus. what are those things are you okay i am not this place is a fucking nightmare demet killed his groundskeeper what right in front of us demet it's a setup he was wearing a mask and i know how that sounds but i'm not joking and now he's after aaron so we need to move Wait, Wait, hang on. Hang on. Where's, Where's Charlie? Charlie? I don't know. We got Charlie's separated. about to get cooked. No way this is happening. You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side Are you of fucking place, kidding me? Bodies dead. Jesus, dead. shut bodies it up! Bodies dead. 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 Who was that? This... this. <laughs> It's fake. it's fake. A prop, a prop or, or from an animal or something. It has to be. No, 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 no way. Oh, oh, it's real. It's fucking real. I told you this was all too much. Let's get out of here. What's going on? The door I came through is locked too. Do men! You wanna play around? Get out here! Right now! Let's fucking play! Oh shit. Looks like I'm Charlie. Look. 
Okay, maybe I'm not Charlie. Well, who did it say I was on your end? Oh, who did it say I was on your side? It said you're Aaron. It said you were Aaron. Okay, we gotta find Charlie, so yep. This is Charlie's. You find something? Charlie's lighter. His dad gave him this. He wouldn't just drop it. Goodbye. The Met wanted us to find it. Good job, you're finally starting to catch on that Dumet is not who he seemed to be. Actually, it could be somebody that's just setting him up to make everybody believe it is Dumet when it is actually not. Look! It's Charlie! Is he alright? It is him. We need to get in there before something happens. <laughs> Years are the wine that fill the cup of time. What? Check this out. It's a puzzle. A riddle of some sort. Makes sense, right? The tricks and traps, it's playing games. Yeah, not a fan of life or death escape rooms. Let's think. Other than H.H. H. Holmes, who else played these sort of games? We can profile and we have the time and option. Red one. One. I'm trying to think of a way out of his game. Fine, but right now, I don't see we have much choice but to play if we want to get out of here. Maybe it has something to do with these dates on the bottles. Green nine. I got one, a nine. Yellow six. What? How are you getting yellow off of that? Yellow is six. Oh, keypad. That was nothing. I got one, a six, and a nine.
Red's one. Yellow six. This is it, last one. Blue eight. Red, blue, green, yellow. Red was six. Okay, I can't remember this damn code because people are talking. Come on, think. The answer, the answer has to be here. Be the colors, the colors match. match. Mm. Oh, it's the dates. One. Just chill. Yellow six. Eighteen eighty six. Come on, hurry the fuck up. Or stupid blue. God damn it. Empty.
Bingo. That's it. What's he doing? It's Charlie. Charlie. Look. Happening. Look at this. It has to be connected to where Charlie is, right? Alright. Try the grate. Do not Something do the door. Happening. We have to get him out of there. Yeah, but how? We don't even know where he is. Look. No. Try the grate. What the hell is that? It's one of those. Things. Wait, if there's gas in there... We gotta do something. No, please. He's gonna fry. What do we do? Did they change it? I could have saved her. What the fuck? Didn't even give me the option. It just told me to pull down on it. Scoops not switch. Pleasant way to go. I have to wonder how the group will fare. Let's try to do that over again, cause I don't. I didn't even get the option with that update. I'm wondering if they didn't change it. Start from the uh, incinerator. <clears throat> I'm thinking they changed it. We'll see, I guess. Look. What the hell is this? Oh, I didn't 
think it went back that far. <clears throat> It is him. We need to get in there before something happens. You guys, look at this. That's Charlie's. Goodbye. Dumet must have got him. Years are the wine that fill the cup of time. What? Check this out. It's a puzzle. A riddle of some sort. Makes sense, right? The tricks and traps, it's playing games. Yeah, not a fan of life or death escape rooms. Let's think. Other than H.H. H. Holmes, who else played these sort of games? We can profile and we have the time and option. Fuck it out! I'm trying to think of a way out of his game. Fine, but right now, I don't see we have much choice but to play if we want to get out of here. That's it! What's he doing? It's Charlie. Charlie. Look. <laughs> what is this place? Hands off of that switch, bitch. Wait, wait, what's happening? Look at this. It has to be connected to where Charlie is, right? Hey! Hey, hello! I'm here! Something is happening. We have to get him out of there. Yeah, but how? We don't even know where he is. Look! Yes, yeah, man. Morning, morning. What the hell is that? It's one of those things. Wait, if there's gas in there... We gotta do something. No, please! He's gonna cry. What do we do? Oof. No, I'm not pulling that fucking switch again. If we don't do something, Charlie's dead. Now, Dumet wants us to pull it. It's another game. I don't trust him. He's just fucking standing there. Yeah, I'm playing Do this something, for my brother. Charlie. Remember, try the great. Oh my god. Charlie! I haven't touched nothing. What the f? This game is starting to piss me off. I, I can say. I'm wondering, did you, did you just burn up? And you didn't push nothing. I have to wonder how the group will fare without their leader. I don't get it. It can be difficult working with someone you've been involved with. But I think Mark they did something with a stupid ass update. And learning some new things about each other. And how do we feel about Mr. Dumet's lovely animatronic? It let you out of the cell. They're rather clever. Some of them look very realistic. I wonder where he's. You tried the door instead of the grate. 
It would only be fair at this stage to offer up a little hint to even the odds. What do you think? If you can't agree between yourselves, what hope do we have? Fucking bullshit. Didn't even have a fucking opportunity to fucking save him. You'd better get back to things. Best of luck. Yes, you should go down and get coffee. It's Saturday morning. It's the only way out of here. So we're going to find it. I don't get it. You pull the switch, you're dead. You don't do nothing, you're dead. Time lapse or not. I don't see any other options. Oh, real bright fucking light. Go through the damn move, bitch. Keep looking around. Where the hell are we? Yes, I am. I was actually going to see if you heard anything about that. I didn't want to uh, discuss it on the stream here, but yeah, I did catch wind, and I have talked to him a little bit about what happened. Son of a bitch. He's watching us. As a matter of fact, I think he is either at home or the other place that he was supposed to go once he landed. He left, uh, he left Phuket Thursday, <laughs> and he landed in Hong Kong, didn't have, he had to take a train over to his next flight. There must be something useful around here. Up there, stupid. <clears throat> Fucking idiot. can't just skip across there. I gotta go down here, over that, over this. Uh, I'm gonna go look 
for some stupid ovals or whatever. Thought there was one back here, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> Damn, I went from six to two. Sound right there, Hoss. Looking around. Must be something useful around here. All right, let me off of here. Yeah, you're ready to get out of bed. I'm ready to get into bed. Yeah, get your ass up. Go get your coffee before your kids get up. Six hours, it's like midnight. Oh shit, it's quarter after one. This way? <sighs> I was getting home about this time last night. four-hour drive there and back. Plus about five and a half, six hours of standing. No point just standing around. It was worth it. Oh, oh, Lord. There's Wasp over there in the corner. Eh, bite me, Wasp. Get your ass up here.
Can't go in there. Oh, fucking shit, not again. There must be something useful around here. I got home at like one o'clock like this morning, yesterday morning. Got things settled in. Went to bed, got back up again at about six. Actually, earlier than that. Went to work, and there I go. I'm still up. This way? Damn it, I can't remember where. No, I was spending time with Horror Junkie, so I didn't even bother with my phone. <laughs> hey look, it's Killer Palm's girlfriend in the stall. I'm looking at her right there. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you drill a few holes where they need to be. myself I'm gonna sleep in tomorrow but guess what as soon as it's about seven o'clock in the morning I'll be waking up again my body says no nope, we ain't sleeping in we're getting the fuck up and we're gonna annoy the shit out of you you guys keep looking for another way out Mark give me a hand I think we can bust through this thing three two one, go, go. Go again. Ready? Three, two, one, go, go. Go again. Ready? God damn it. How many times I gotta do this one, stupid one, thing? Go, go. Go again. Go again. Ready? You gotta Three, tap square two, repeatedly. One, go, go. <sighs> what go are again. you doing? Ready? Three, two, one, go, go. <sighs> go again. Ready? Three. Oh my god, get this damn one, thing already. Go, go. <sighs> Oh my god. Go again. Ready? 
Three, two, one, go! go. <laughs> Go again. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Go again. Ready? Let's go. Looks like I'm whacking off over here trying to push the stupid button a million times. Go again. Ready? If my TV didn't cost two thousand dollars. I'd have thrown this controller through it. Go again. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Go! Go again. Ready? Three, two, one, go! Go! Again. Okay. Ready? Three, two, one, go! go. Uh, Stupid okay. fucking Ready? game. Three, two, one, go! go. Okay. What happened? We'll get back. Get back. Stay, there. Stay there. Just hurry. Oh, that hurt. Oh yeah, I love this camera light. Wait, wait. This, this wasn't even script. I... through the wall. I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna knock you the fuck out. Yasmin. All right, so Clark was eleven, and this chick is nine, or at least that looks like a nine. 
Maybe that's a one. Where in the fuck are you at now? Hey, Corey, here's your boyfriend on the couch over here. He's already naked and ready for you. I hope not. Dude, I know where you live. Behind the tasty tree. <laughs> Welcome to Tasty Treat, home of the tasty. Can I take your order? laundry at fucking six o'clock in the damn morning. Stay close. Obviously. Tell me what to do. I'll go wherever I want to go. I'll blame you anyway. Oh, 
we gotta go up those crates. There must be something useful around here. Go take your stink ass in there. Well, I'm glad I made it across because I can't see through your big ass head. Check this out. Let's go, you slow ass gimp. Yeah, I'm a little bit delayed because I'm getting tired. You gotta push the up button or up toggle. Oh my fucking god, I'm not doing this again. I didn't even try.
Old Benny, you can come back now. We got it through. Huh. I'm I know, I know. I'm just kidding. Shut up and get across the room. Well, hurry the fuck up. Sleep sounds excellent right about now. Shut up. No. Monica, no, don't please shut up. Guess what? It's another fucking booby trap. God damn it, get off the stupid camera. just said it was a booby trap and what do you do you go straight for the booby trap the key is the booby trap you doink Tattoos. If those are tattoos, you need to go get your fucking eyes checked. Mark, Mark here. here. Let's move the desk. <laughs> Mark? Jamie? Here. Okay. We're okay. We're okay. Thank God. We found a key. Let's get out of here. Start calling Dumet dumbass. Hear that? This way. Ah, we're back in here, so that key goes to that stupid drawer over by the register. What the hell? Now it says 181. I forgot. This is the booby trap. Take 
Wait! Stop! It's the trap! I knew it. Open the goddamn door! Haven't you ever heard of closing the goddamn door? No. I bet you did, Yasna. Aaron, are you okay? I'm Please just, say you're alright. I'm getting Get me over out of here! Hurry up! It's another cop! <sighs> They're both locked. Shit! What was that? Yeah, but I might go to bed here pretty quick. Sleepy as hell. I, I can't. Oh, I can't breathe. These windows are welded in place. He fucking wants us to watch. Wait, look. Regulator switch. Will that give the mayor? No. Not both of them. It's sucking out all the air. Whoever we point this lever at is gonna die. What? Do something! He wants us to choose, doesn't he? Oh my god. I can't. If we don't do something, both of them will die, Mark. Chose save Aaron in the suffocation chamber. Window. There's a there's a leak. Back up, back up. We saved them both. Come on, I got you. Okay. I'm okay. Kate, you okay? She's okay. Bitch. That's actually game. where I killed That's Aaron that last joke. time I played by myself. You okay? Not even close. <sighs> Look, we have to get Oof. smart about this before one of us ends up dead like Charlie. Wait, Charlie's dead? I think I'm gonna call it a night after we get through this cutscene. What the hell is that? When I was lost. I picked up a recording. It was Charlie talking to Dumet. He said he wanted us dead. He brought us here to kill us. No. There's just no way. I know what I heard. We need a plan. Forget his games, traps, all that bullshit. See what Think about the killers brings. we've covered. There's always a weakness. Are you suggesting we invite him to tea and psychoanalyze? I'm suggesting we use our heads. We can make guesses all day, but if we die here, it won't matter. I'm not playing detective, I just want to survive. Playing detective is how we survive. We play his games, we'll lose. 
We need to outthink him. He's trying to pick us off one at a time. We need to stick together. Hang on. He could be listening to us right now. Where should we go? Back to the ferry. It left, remember? It's on the line. Maybe we could reel it in. Maybe it isn't good enough. The lighthouse. Maybe we can signal for help. There's police Mark has to get the, lakes, the lighthouse right? going. All the way out here? Lighthouses are meant to be seen for miles. He's probably got it rigged with traps. Then we gotta be really fucking careful. It's our best shot. Are you shooting any of us? No one is gonna believe it without proof. You want me to record him trying to kill us? In the bodies? For the cops? <laughs> Hear that? The walls are moving again. Kate, hang on. We need to stay close. Shit! Kate! Hang on! God damn it. All right, we're going to call it a night there. We'll start out over there tomorrow or whatever. I didn't know there was going to be a stupid ass time sensitive. I dropped my camera in the vat, so. <sighs> stream i will catch you guys later thank you for coming in it's just too much to keep my eyelids open so take it easy thanks for dropping in have a good night